Hi there. Have you ever made a trip where you are so excited to get up early in the morning and then as the trip goes by after some time driving, your excitement just kind of dies down a little bit and then it goes back up and then it goes right back down and then boom, happy status. Well, this journey is going to be a trip from San Pedro Sula uh, Cortez, Honduras to La Ceiba to the port where we're going to catch the ferry ride. It's approximately about an hour and a half um, because from what they told us was that the, uh, the sea was going to be a bit rough. We didn't think that was going to uh, matter, uh, but it, it did. So you are going to see that we're really excited to leave in the morning and then we get kind of bored of the drive even though things will still look beautiful when you're driving uh and then we got really excited because we got to the ferry spot and then we had to wait and so we got down again and then uh we get on the ferry and uh yeah that's well, that was rough and um then we get down to the mainland of the island and we're excited again and i think from there that was pretty good um and then we arrive at Banana Rama, <laughs> Banana Rama uh, dive in. So um, join me. Buenos días. Aquí estamos ya listos para ir al viaje a la Roa. Buenos días. Nos vamos ya. Hey, hombre, estamos echando gasolina aquí para que la gasolinera.
a nice ride, but rule number one, um, make sure you don't drink before you go on a ferry ride the next day. Um, if you get seasick really easy or motion sickness, definitely want to take a pill. Kind of helps out a little bit. Um, as you see, I actually went outside and recorded a little bit of the, uh, the water in the back of the ferry. Sometimes it catches like the big waves. You can probably see on the phone that it's moving and it's, it's sitting on the stabilizer on the gimbal. And um, the waves do get pretty big and, and do have that little motion up and down. Um, I'm feeling okay today. Um, the last time that I did a ferry ride like this on a fast boat, um, I got sick and I, I think it's probably because I was drinking the night before, but um, nonetheless, you, you'll definitely feel the waves on the, on the ferry. If you guys want to come from the mainland, from La Ceiba or from, you know, San Pedro Sula to go to Ruatan, you, there is a plane ride that you can get and um, it's just twice as expensive as it is just actually getting on the ferry. So there's, there's things that you have to know. So one, you have to um, reserve the, the, the flight ticket. Um, two, you actually have to figure out how long is it going to take you to drive to the airport um, and then how, long, how much time you're going to spend if you were to get the, the plane ticket instead. Now for us this morning, we got up, um, we went from the, from the really close to the airport from where I landed um, all the way here to La Ceiba and it took about maybe, let me see, I think we left around 4 something, 4.50 maybe. I think I might have had a little clip of that added on there. Um, and then from there we got here like maybe um, 7.30, maybe 8. So it wasn't too too bad. Maybe a couple, maybe two and a half hours uh, total drive. There wasn't much traffic, so it was okay. So no big deal. Um, so, but I mean, you know, we we spent right now. I, I paid sixty seven hundred and thirty five lempiras uh, for four tickets, and that's a full trip. You know, one way there and then one way back uh, to the mainland. Um, and I mean, you know, just, you, you, you gotta, if you have a nice budget, I guess you don't have to go the, the cheap way. <coughs> Excuse me. You can see the ways that they get cut, they get caught on the, under the boat sometimes because the, even the stabilizers are like moving. <coughs> but nonetheless, it's a nice ride. Um, I did go outside and here's a clip of that. Um, trying to maneuver <laughs> as best as I could with the waves you know it's going really big up and down um, so you know one of those things that you got to put up with when you're doing the trip down there so uh, this is my experience on the ferry ride from the mainland to Roatan uh, when we get there I'll let you know if I got sick or not um, yeah we're moving a lot right now so when we get there, we'll go ahead and um, document the, uh, the arrival there and um, yeah, we'll go from there. Once we're at the beach, then um, we'll see what we can find out in there. But right now, today, later on, we're going to actually, hopefully, we can um, uh, get this little tour through the uh, zip lines and uh, hopefully that's going to come out awesome. So we got three sports cameras that go with us. I'm going to be recording with my phone just like I am right now with a gimbal. I'm not sure if it's going to affect... Um, when you go down on the ride, if it's gonna affect the gimbal at all, um, because if it's too windy, it's gonna affect the, the phone because it's flat, so it, it might, you know, put too much weight or, or something. So, all right, continue watching. We'll, uh, we'll keep you guys updated.
muy firme. Oh. Alright, so we finally made it to the Roatan Island and uh, it's pretty crazy. You can see how the busy the cars are over here trying to pick up people. Um, I we made it back with the no throwing up, but it was a challenge. They tell me on the way back it's not as bad, so I'm kind of hopeful for that. So right now, guys, we're, we're just here. I'll show you a little bit of uh, what it looks like as soon as you come out of the, the place from uh, getting off the boat, going through the lines. There's a place where if you brought a camera, uh, a bag, uh, luggage, you checked it in, you had to pick it up inside. But then you have like a bunch of people trying to help you out, get a ride to the to the hotel or whatever the place is that you're gonna go. So we gotta find out how much we're gonna pay for that and we'll see if we can get the best deal. So I'm just gonna show you around over here what it looks like. So we ended up taking uh, the taxi. We paid thirty dollars, which is probably a little bit overpaid, but it was for four of us. We didn't think it was a big deal, and we finally arrived to Banana Rama, and uh, we just couldn't wait to get in there and get settled in. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Um, until next time, God bless.